Okay, next one. You feel comfortable just waking up to someone you find interesting. Wait, you feel comfortable just walking up. Sorry. <laughs> um, sorry. I, um, apologies. Sorry, you guys. I was like, I was like, wait a second. There's something wrong with. <laughs> You regularly make new friends. Okay, let's let's think about this one. Do I agree or disagree with this? Um, the answer is obviously going to be no. But the question is, how much of a no is it? Like, I mean, I talk to a lot of streamers, of course, and like here here at here at TSN, I've spoken to them. Of course, it's a little bit skewed because we're in we're in like COVID times. Like, I don't doubt that if we weren't in COVID times, I would probably hang out with some of them. I mean, I've hung out with Myth and Bjergs in a little bit. Um, I'm gonna say that I don't strongly disagree. It's probably like right here. You spend a lot of your free time exploring various random topics that pique your interest. Agree or disagree? I would say that the answer is agree. How strongly is it agree? I don't know. Because, for example, I'll, I'll, like last night, you guys are probably going to laugh at me for saying this, but I was reading I was reading on my on my Kindle, and I was reading this book about Estee Lauder, the cosmetics company, and sort of their story about the story of the company. So it's a pretty random topic to be reading about, like cosmetics, especially because, like, I mean, obviously it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't apply to me in, in any kind of way. Um... So like I was reading a book, I was reading a book, I was reading a book that's pretty random. Of course, I look at the stock market. I look at crypto every so often. Um, I was also watching some videos of Hawaii because I do want to go there again soon. And I was looking at um, maybe some, some hikes in the area. So like to me, the I would say, I mean, my free time is pretty limited, but I think it's a pretty strong agree. That's what I would say. I think it's a very strong agree. So I'm going to go with that. Um... Seeing other people cry can easily make you feel like you want to cry too. Um, I mean, okay, people aren't going to like me for this, but the answer, the answer is 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 disagree. But that doesn't like for crying specifically, it's disagree. But I'll, I'll I'll give you guys an example. So for one of the things that actually like really makes my blood boil, makes me really angry, is when I see people who who are like who have disabilities like people for example who like they they let's just say they have a leg leg problem they can't really walk correctly people who have disabilities that actually really like that really makes my blood boil a lot when i see disabled people it makes me really angry that like the governments governments and healthcare companies and these sorts of things that they don't do they don't do more to help these people that's what makes me really angry um because governments and and healthcare companies you know or all all all, all these people in the med in like in the field you should be doing a lot more. So that's what I'm saying, if you guys are misunderstanding. Just become president then? Yeah. Yeah. No, it really makes me angry. Like, I remember I was in Japan maybe three years ago, and I saw this guy, and he, like, he, he, he had a limp. And it's like, I see this, and I'm just like, it's like, what's wrong What's wrong with this world? You know, what is wrong with this world that, like, you, you don't have, you know, you, you don't have these people being taken care of the way they should be. Um, so that's something that really makes me makes me mad when I see it. But, um when seeing people cry though, I, I, I don't really necessarily want to cry. So that's what I'll do. Um, that's what I'll say. Okay. You often make a backup plan for a backup plan. Um, you often make a backup plan for a backup plan. No, I'm very spontaneous. I do not make a backup plan for a backup plan at all. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I, I have a plan generally, even on stream. I have some kind of basic plan, but that's it. There's no backup. There's plan A. There's no there's no plan B. Uh, so I, I totally I totally agree with that. And and I would say also as an example, like I, I, as an example, it's like chess is no different. Like when I was younger, and you know, I I was already a grandmaster. I dropped out of college um, to, to try and play chess professionally, and um, and I was trying to play chess professionally. But there was no guarantee that I was going to make it as a player. Like I was twenty six hundred, maybe top fifty, top hundred ish in the world. But there was no guarantee whatsoever, and so there was no safety net for me in any way. I mean, I guess I could have gone and started teaching or something at some point, but I had no safety net. So um, so this this whole point about having this backup plan or plan B, I hundred percent disagree. I do not agree with that at all. You should not have a backup plan. 100% you should not have a backup plan. Um, okay. I had support. That's not actually true, Leaky. Until I won the U.S. Championship in 2009, I didn't did not have any financial support. Um, so, okay. Let's keep going. You usually stay calm even under a lot of pressure. Um, this varies on a lot of things. Uh, did I have a wealthy family? No, they supported me, but they, but no, when I was, um, when I was 19 years old, basically they were willing to let me stay at home and live with them. And that was it. So no, there was no, like, no, like financial support. 
um, at that point. If it all went wrong, you could have become Levy. That is absolutely brutal, Tufka. That is brutal. Brutal, brutal. Um, okay. You usually stay calm even under a lot of pressure. Um, it varies depending on what it is. But, I mean, I do like competitions. I think generally I do stay fairly calm. But I'm not the calmest of calm. So, I'm going to say that I agree. But it's probably right here is what I would say. Okay. Um... At social events, you rarely try to introduce yourself to new people and mostly talk to the ones you already know. Um, Tricky. I would say that I generally agree with this. I'm somewhere in the middle, though. I agree, but I don't think that I, like, I totally agree with it. I think it's probably, like, it's not here. I mean, I do mingle, but I don't, I don't act, like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, um... I don't know. I think it's probably... It's one of these two. I mean, sometimes I do. It's somewhere in the middle. I would say it's... Um, I'm going to say it's here. That's what I would say. Okay. You prefer to completely finish one project before starting another one. Um, No, I don't agree. <laughs> no, I don't. Because normally it's like, for example... I mean, am I going to be taking this test for two hours? No, I'll, I'll go faster, but I'll try to explain if there's something in this one. I 100% disagree, and I'll tell you why. Because to me, it's like I might start one project on something I'm doing on like OBS or like for one scene for one thing, and then I'll get distracted by like AMC on my other on the other thing. So no, I disagree. Because um, then I'll think about AMC and I'll think like, well, ooh, what can I do over there in in, in the stonk market? So I don't agree. You are very sentimental. Um, at times, I can be sentimental. Not all the time. So, I'm going to go with... Um, I'll go with here. Um, you like to use organizing tools and schedules and lists. The funny thing is, this has changed. When I was younger, this was not true at all. But nowadays, since I stream every day, I actually have to be pretty on the ball. So, I didn't used to... I used to be quite... I used to be, like, right here, disagree. Nowadays, I'm probably... I don't like using tools and, and schedules and lists, but I'm probably probably here even a small mistake can cause you to doubt your overall abilities and knowledge i mean of course i disagree because if that was the case whenever i get a puzzle rush puzzle wrong i would just crumble so no of course not um or if i lose a single game of chess okay next one you feel comfortable just waking up to someone you find interesting wait you feel comfortable just walking up sorry <laughs> um, sorry i um, apologies sorry you guys i was like i was like wait a second there's something wrong with <laughs> um, okay you guys you feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting <laughs> and striking up a conversation um yeah, I would say, um, I would say, yeah, what I would say on that one is that my, I mean, I, huh, do I feel comfortable just walking up to someone? I would say not really. I mean, but does that, what does this mean? Does this mean that you, um, does this mean that you, uh, does this mean that you, like just on the street randomly, like does this mean you walk to someone or does this mean someone you already know? That's what I wasn't sure about. I'm going to guess that, I mean, this just means, does it mean someone you know or it's just random? Random? Um, I mean, it's right here in the middle. Okay. You are not too interested in discussing various interpretations and an analysis of creative works. I don't, I don't understand the question. You're not too interested in discussing various interpretations and analysis of, what does, does this mean like art? Does it mean like art or something? What does this mean? Um, th what does it mean by by interpretations and now creative art? What does it mean by cr art films, books, and these other things? Just generally, um, you're not too interested. No, of course. I mean, I watch the movie, I get my takeaway, and that's it. I don't want to have some like I don't want to have some deep philosophical discussions. No, I, I mean, no, just no. It's like this weird thing. Like someone was telling me recently about this weird thing called like the, the quote unquote social contract. And it's like, I just, I literally don't want to hear about any of that stuff. Okay. You're more inclined to follow your head than your heart. Um, um, you're more inclined to follow your head than your heart. Generally, I'm, 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 pr I would say I probably agree here. Wait, did I blunder? Wait, did I just blunder?
Oh, I made a mistake. Can I go back? Um, let, let me see this. Let me go back. Okay, I mean, I could I could start over and redo the test. Cause I could I could just do. Let me just redo the test. Okay, let me just redo it. And I'll skip right through all the parts. Okay. Um, you regularly make new friends. I, I think I put it. Um, I put it like here, right? It was this one. It was the second one, right? Let me just blitz through this. It was the second one, right? It was. It, It was this one. You can't go back. I, I said no. It was this one, right? It was one of these two. Um, it was the green one. Just tell me which one it was, you guys. It was. It was the second disagree. Okay. Okay, I think it was that one. Um, agree. Seeing other people cry. I think I put... Um, I think I put here, right? I put the second one, right? I think it was it was the second one. It was, it was... Was it this one? It was the second one that I believe that I put, right? I put the last one? Okay. Okay, you often make a backup plan? No, 100% I don't. Stay calm. I put here at social events. I think I put. I think I put here, right? I think I put this. I put this one. Okay, let's keep going. Prefer to finish one. So, completely disagree. Sentimental. I think I put here, right? You like to use organizing tools, and now I, I think I put this. Or wait, no. I. You like to use. I think again. I put this one. Whatever, I don't care. I'll, I'm just getting back to this while we're at. Even a small mistake can cause you a doubt. Um, disagree. Uh, I think I put... I put neutral here. Next one. I Oh, this... Yeah, you're not too interested in discussing various... Oh, right. Yeah, it's 100% agree. There we go. Okay. All right. You're more inclined to follow your head than your heart. Um, I don't know. Thank you to Mason Returns for five gifteds. I think it's... You're more inclined to follow your head than your heart. Eh, I think it's here. You usually prefer just doing what you feel like at any given moment instead of planning a particular daily routine. Uh, this would have been true in the old days, by the way. In the old days, I would have agreed with this. I'd be like, it would be 100% uh, agree. You, I just prefer doing whatever at whatever time. Nowadays, though, because I stream every day, I do have I do have a pretty straightforward um, routine. So I probably disagree. It's probably here. Okay. You rarely worry about whether you make a good impression on people you meet. Um, all these things have shifted a little bit. Probably here. No, I got this right. I got this right, you guys. Read the question. Because I do plan a routine, so of course, of course, I disagree. Because I, I don't just, I don't, don't just plan this. Um. No, you guys are trolling me. I got it right. Um, you rarely worry about whether people you meet make a good impression. Um, I guess, I mean, it's probably like... This has shifted a lot. This used to be like all the way over here. It, you, this totally used to be all the way over here. Disagree, I didn't really care. Now I do kind of care. So it's probably like here. You enjoy participating in group activities. Probably, I mean, I'm not crazy, but I'm, I don't disagree either. Probably like here. You like books and movies um, that... Stop saying blunder. I got that right. Okay. You like books and movies that make you come up with your own interpretation of the ending. You like books and movies that make you come up? No, I disagree. You like books and movies that make you come up with your own interpretation of the ending? No, I don't. I don't like things where the ending is not... Like Inception, it's an okay movie, but I don't like the ending. No, I don't like the ending. No, your happiness comes more from helping others accomplish things than your own accomplishment. Um, nowadays, this is definitely definitely more true than it used to be. So probably... It's probably about like... I'd say it's probably about here is what I would say. Okay. You're so interested in so many things that you find it difficult to choose what to try next. I definitely agree with this. You're prone to worrying that things will take a turn for the worse. Um, generally not really. I just live life. I just live life. I, I don't agree at all. 
um you avoid leadership roles in group settings uh, i actually think i'm pretty good pretty good at, at rallying people so i i think i disagree you're definitely not an artistic type of person um no i very much am an artistic person so i disagree you would think the world would be a better place if people relied on rationality and less on feelings would the world be a better place if people relied more on rationality and less on feelings i actually kind of i i am i try to look at things very rationally so i actually kind of agree because that means like the world is better for all robots in a sense I don't know. Oh, I'm definitely artistic. Yeah. Um, you think the world would be a better place if people relied more on rationality and less on their feelings? Probably. I agree with that. I agree with it pretty strongly, but not all the way to the, not all the way. You prefer to do your chores before allowing yourself to relax. Uh, no, actually I can be very much a lazy bones. I sometimes hate doing things. I, I like, you know, if I, if I have to like, if I have to set up something for a sponsor stream, you know, I really want to do it, but sometimes I'll be like, you know what? I just stream six hours. I'm not going to do it right away. I'm going to go chill for like three hours. I'm going to go eat some, eat some potato chips, you know, have my Stella and like, and then, and then do it later. So I'm not always disciplined. So let's see, you prefer to do your chores before allowing yourself to relax. Um, I mean, I think it's like, it's in the middle though. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I do it, but I don't know. It's probably, it's it's in between. So I'm gonna go with the right in the middle, I think. I don't know. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So I'll put it, I'll put it, actually, you know, maybe it's barely agree. It's Cause I think actually I do want to. Generally I want to, I don't always procrastinate. So I'll put it right here. Uh, I don't it's one of these two I don't know which one though I I mean prefer I do prefer so I guess I'll, I'll put it here but I don't I mean I want to but I don't do it so I don't know I, I'll put it in the middle because I'm just not sure you enjoy watching people argue no I mean I I do not like watching people argue I hate watching people argue I disagree you have to be pretty there's to be something deeply wrong with you if you enjoy watching people if you enjoy watching people argue there's something wrong you tend to avoid drawing attention to yourself. Um, definitely. Like when I go out shopping or when I go out, I try, I try, I definitely don't like drawing attention. So, um, I would say it's probably here is what I would say. You tend to avoid drawing attention. Yeah. I don't like, I don't like attention. So I'll, I'll put it here. Um, your mood can change very. Yeah. But even the debates are pretty crummy today. The debates that you watch in politics are pretty awful. They're pretty terrible. Your mood can change very quickly. Yes, that is definitely true. Um, yes. You lose patience with people who are not as efficient as you. This is also very true. I actually, I can get very frustrated at times with people. So I 100% agree with this. I definitely lose patience. You often you often end up doing things at the last possible moment. Um, you often end up doing things at the last possible moment. Not all, I think I disagree, I disagree with that. It's probably... It's not a strong disagree, but it's a disagree. I'll put it here. You've always been fascinated by by the question of what if anything happens after death? Um, I don't actually. Honestly, this question, this is one of the things to me, I don't even think about it. I just don't think about it. It's just like, I, I don't worry about death. I just live my life and hey, if I get hit by a car, so be it. If, you know, if, if something happens, you know, there's like, there's that video, um, what, there's that video on YouTube where they it's like 10 minutes long. And they talk about like, you know, rolling dice and death and all this other stuff and, and so forth. Um, and I just, I don't think about it. I literally don't think about it. Let's keep going. Okay. You usually prefer to be around others rather than on your own. Um, in a perfect world, in a per, I'm going to answer this truthfully without COVID. With, because of COVID, I actually would like to be around other people, to be honest. But in a but in a normal world without COVID, where you're you're not isolated for two years, I probably would say that um, that the honest truth is I I, I would probably. So I'm gonna put it here. If, if right now the answer would be this because of because of COVID, but I'm gonna put it right here for now. Yeah. You usually prefer to be around others rather than on your own. Oh, wait, no, no, wait. Sorry, I misread the question. Wait, wait, I misread the question. You're right. You usually prefer to be around others. So, yeah, so I'm, it's disagree. Um, 
Um, I'm going to put it here. It's such a mix for me, but I mean, I, I, I think it's here. I think it's here. You become bored or lose interest when the discussion gets highly theoretical. Yeah, like I, I actually, I do not like people who ramble on. Like, you know, I, I, I not to not to speak ill of a certain family member of mine, but there's a certainly certain fam family member of mine who, um, when they talk, it's like I'm on the phone with them, and they're like, they start going into this thing, and they don't, they don't give me what I want. It's like, it's like, dude, just get to, get to the point, get to the point. I'm on the call, get to the point. So there's a whole long story. There's like the story about this person, that person. Oh yeah, this is what we wanted. That's what we wanted. And there's this long, long rambling story. And it's like, I don't want to hear that. It's like, get to the point. Just get to the point. I don't want to, I don't want to waste time. So um, I become very, yeah, I become bored. Like I have no interest at all. Let's keep going. You find it easy to empathize with a person whose experiences are very different from yours. Actually, I've gotten better at that over the years. Um, I wouldn't say it's easy, though. It's not always easy. So find it easy to empathize with a person whose experiences are very different from yours. Um, it's probably in the... I mean, I've gotten much better at over time. I think it's... I don't find it easy, though. So I'm going to go... I'm going to go neutral. You, you usually postpone finalizing decisions for as long as possible. Um, I'm in the middle here. Um, I have to disagree. I think it's just here, though. You rarely second guess a choice you've made. Yeah. Um, if it's... I mean, I, I, would, I have to agree with this. Um, yeah, you rarely second guess a choice. I very rarely do. After a long and exhausting week, a lively social event is just what you need. Um, no, I, I don't think so. No, I mean in the bigger picture. In the in the bigger picture, I don't second guess. I mean, I can obviously unclick it here. Um, but I second guess in the moment, but it's not sticking with me beyond that. And it doesn't affect how I play the rest of the game. So I don't really agree with that. Um, like, and, and also I think about just general things. I don't second guess them after a long and exhausting week of lively social is just what you need. Um, no, you enjoy going to art museums. Uh, I mean, I've been to, I've been to the museum of modern art in New York city. I like it. You know, there's some good pieces of artwork there. Uh, but no, I, I mean, I, I can, I can, I can, some art is good. I've seen like some Rembrandts in, in the Netherlands, but no, just no. Just no. You often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. Um, um, I'm in the middle here. Sometimes, sometimes it's true. I, actually, maybe it is more true than I think. I think it's, pro it's probably, it's more true than I'd like to admit. So I'm going to put it here. You'd like to have a to-do list for each day. No, I do not like to have a to-do list for each day. No, 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 I do not. You rarely feel insecure. Um, or wait, no, this is agree. Yeah, or wait, wait. You like, no, no, sorry, this is disagree, okay. You have a hard time, yeah, okay. Um, you rarely feel insecure. Um, yeah, I, I definitely agree. I don't, I, I do not feel insecure. Yeah, I don't feel insecure. Um, You avoid making phone calls. Um, no, I make phone calls. You often spend a lot of time trying to understand views that are very different from your own. Um, kind of agree. Kind of agree. But do how much do I agree? Probably here. Okay, let's keep going. In your social circle, you are often the one who contacts friends and initiates activities. Um, hmm. It's definitely true that I've had to do quite a bit of that in recent years. Um, but it's not super strong, so it's probably like it's probably like here. If your plans are interrupted, your top priority is to get back on track as soon as possible. Uh, definitely not true. Because if my plans get interrupted, I start, I get fascinated, dug into a whole nother world. So it's like, for example, um, if I'm, if I'm reading about like ancient or not ancient history, sorry, if I'm reading a, 
what's an example? What's a segue? Um, I was reading something about like about. Um, oh no, I'll tell you what it was. So the oh yeah, yeah, I'll tell you exactly what it was. So the other day, I was just watching some like trailers for movies, and there was a trailer for um for the next Marvel movie. What is it? What's it called? The in, is it the Invince? What's what's it called? Um, can someone in chat tell me what it's called? The the new Marvel movie. It's like the um is it. Is it the Eternals, yes, the Eternals. But so what happens is, is that I watch this trailer, and then immediately as soon as I watch the trailer, I ended up just reading all this ancient history again, and I lost like the next hour just reading about reading about ancient Babylon. So the point is that basically, um, so basically the point is, as I get back here, um, that you see, I I had I was trying to do something, obviously I was trying to do something. And then I start. Then, then it's like, oh yeah, this this is the Ishtar Gate. I'm gonna go read about ancient Babylon forever. And so my top priority was gone for a few hours. Um, so okay, so the the answer would be, uh, my top priority is not to get back on track as soon as possible. So it would be, um, it would be probably I disagree quite not completely strongly, but like this strong. Did I finish the trailer? I think I did, but it was like an hour later or something. So we'll go there. You're still bothered by mistakes that you made a long time ago. Sometimes there are certain games, certain moments I'm very bothered by, of course, like anybody, I think. Uh, still bothered. I think I probably agree with that. I don't know if it's completely agree, but I would say it's like right here for sure. You rarely contemplate the reasons for human existence or meaning of life. Yes, actually, I 100% agree on this one. I do not contemplate the reason or the meaning. All I know is that I'm here in this moment. Um, I'm here to entertain people and hey, that's it. Like, you know, whether, whether some, some magic, mad, magic person in the sky put me here, whether like, whether, you know, there's, there's some, you know, some alternate planes of existence or whatever, like, or, you know, whatever it is, like who knows, but, um, I do not contemplate the meaning of life. Um, your emotions control you more than you control them. Um, uh, your emotions control you more than you control them. Um, for most of the time, that's not true. It's definitely true when it comes to chess, for sure. Like competition, a hundred percent is true. Um, in general, I don't know, but I mean, like with chess, it definitely is true. Like, because competition, a hundred percent, um, I think for almost everybody that's true, but in reality, I mean, probably I agree, but because it's so skewed the other way when I'm not playing chess, I probably will just go, I probably will go, I'll probably go here. Um, you take great care to not make people look bad, even when it's completely their fault. Um, great care to not make people look bad, even when it's completely their fault. Um, I mean, I, I would say I'm pretty objective, or I try to be objective, like when I do the reacts, or you like the Ali Reza situation with the Arbiter. But, I mean, like, in general, I, I mean, I, I have to go probably, it's probably about here is what I would say. I think it's about, I think it's probably the second one. It's not all the way, but it's it's definitely on that side. Um, your personal work style is closer to spontaneous bursts of energy than organizing consistent efforts. Um, this one I could answer many ways. I would say these days it's much more structured, so I probably would have to go with disagree again. Um, when someone thinks highly of you, you wonder how long it will take take them. Um, when someone thinks highly of you, you wonder how long it will take them to feel disappointed in you. I never have those feelings. I mean, I I never have those feelings. I don't know about you guys. I, I don't have these feelings at all. I don't know. I mean, I just, I don't, I don't, I literally don't think about it. I just don't, I don't. I'm just that confident in my chess abilities. I just don't think about it. Um, you would love a job that requires you to work alone most of the time. <laughs> okay, I mean, okay, this is, I mean, <laughs> um, I mean, I mean, we, we, we know what the answer is, obviously. So, <laughs> um, yeah, let's keep going. You believe that pondering abstract philosophical questions is a waste of time. Um, oh yes, absolutely. Having read some Kant, having read you know, having read some 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 Kant, having read a bit of like you know the um, the Plato and like Aristotle and all that other stuff. I mean, I, I like it just spins your head in a in a wheel and you're just like, no. I mean, I I I I, I actually I agree. I agree. It's just not worth. It's not worthwhile. Um, you feel more drawn to places with busy 
bustling atmospheres. I mean, it's just like, you know, it's just like if, if I if I read, read like Nietzsche or something, it's like, you know, thus speaks Zarathustra, like, is there the Superman? Is there the Overman? You know, are there super people and all this other jazz? Like, I mean, what's the point, honestly? Like, who cares? So, okay. Okay. You feel more drawn to places with busy, bustling atmospheres than quite intimate places. This this is generally true. Um, ge- generally true. I, I, I kind of agree. Superman is real, yes. Okay, we yeah, that that really wasn't Nietzsche's point. Okay. Um all right. Okay. Okay. You feel more drawn to places with busy bustling atmospheres and quiet intimate places. I'm a mix. I like the big cities. I also do like nature a lot. Like I like mountains, but is are mountains considered quite intimate places or are mountains more like um that's, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Mountains are definitely quiet. Um, Feel more drawn to places with... I mean, I think I like... Like, I like LA. I like New York. I mean, I like places which have... Which are vibrant. So, um, I would say I probably agree based on where I've lived. So, I'll probably go with that. You know, at first glance, how someone is feeling. um, I mean, I I don't know. I'm going to go neutral because I really... I, I don't have a strong opinion there. You often feel overwhelmed. Um, Generally, I don't, actually. I generally don't feel overwhelmed. So you complete things methodically without skipping over any steps? No. Um, This is 100% not true. I will will skip over steps all the time. Okay. You're very intrigued by things labeled as controversial. Uh, No, actually, I'm not a fan of controversy, drama, any of that stuff. So, uh, no. I'm like... But it says things labeled. So I don't know what that means. Things labeled as controversial. Like, I mean, that could that could also be like the Kardashians, right? Because that could be controversial too. I guess it depends how I perceive this. How do I perceive contra- the word controversial? Controversial. Controversial media and films? No, actually, no, then I'm not. Because, I mean, I politics, when I when I see whatever the left or the right puts out, it's just, it's like, blech, blech. So, um, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, actually. I, I don't, I don't like that stuff. Um, I'm going to go, actually, I'll go here. It's not all the way. I'll go here. You would pass along good opportunity if you thought someone else needed it more. Actually, yes, for the greater good, this I agree with. Not all the way, but probably, probably here, I would say. You struggle with deadlines. Um, Never been great with deadlines, so probably I agree. You feel confident things will work out for you? 100% agreed. Your gender, um, male. Okay, let's see the results. What are we going to get? What are we going to get, chat? What are we getting? Yeah, you're saying ENTP, ISCJ, um... Yeah, no one's really sure. Okay, let's let's go for it. Let's see. La di da di da. Okay. ISTP dash A. Okay. I wanted to live the life, a different life. I didn't want to go to the same place every day and see the same people and do the same job. I wanted interesting challenges. Harrison Ford. Okay, what is this? Okay. Virtuosos love to explore with their hands and their eyes, touching and examining the world around them to be cool, rationalism, and spirited curiosity. People with, people with this personality type are natural makers, moving from project to project, building the useful and the superfluous for the fun of it, and learning from their environments as they go. Often mechanics and engineers, virtuosos find no greater joy than in getting their hands dirty, pulling things apart and putting them back together just a little bit better than they were before. Okay, definitely true. Okay. Um, Virtuosos explore ideas through creating, troubleshooting, trial and error, and firsthand experience. They enjoy having other people take an interest in their projects and sometimes don't even mind them getting into their space. Of course, that's on the condition that these people do, don't interfere with virtuosos' principles and freedom, and they'll need to be open to virtuosos returning the interest in kind. Virtuosos enjoy lending a hand and sharing their experience, especially with the people they care about. And it's a shame they're so uncommon, making up only about 5% of the population. Virtuoso women are especially rare, and the typical gender roles that society, society tends to expect can be a poor fit. They'll often be seen as tomboys from a young age. Okay. 
Dare to Differ. All right. How much more is there? Not much more. Okay, I'll read through this. Let's just keep going. Dare to differ. While their mechanical tendencies can make them appear simple at a glance, virtuosos are actually quite enigmatic. Friendly, but very private. Calm, but suddenly spontaneous. Extremely curious, but unable to stay focused on formal studies. Absolutely true. I was never very good. Um, I was never, never very good at formal studies. 100% true. Um, also, I am very spontaneous. Like, I could get a thought tonight. I'd be like, you know what? I want to drive to, like, I want to drive the, on the, the one highway up to San Francisco tonight. And I totally could do it. Um... So, yeah. Um, Virtuoso personalities can be a challenge to predict even by their friends and loved ones. Virtuosos can seem very loyal and steady for a while, but they can tend to build up a store of impulsive energy that explodes without warning, taking their interests in bold new directions. Absolutely true. Um, So, yeah. Virtuoso's decisions stem from a sense of practical realism, and at their heart is a strong sense of direct fairness, a do-unto-others attitude, which really helps explain many of Virtuoso's puzzling traits. Instead of being overly cautious, though, avoiding stepping on toes in order to avoid having their toes stepped on, Virtuoso's are likely to go too far, accepting likewise retaliation, good or bad, as fair play. The biggest issue virtuosos are likely to face is that they often act too soon, taking for granted their permissive nature and assuming that others are the same. They'll be the first to tell an insensitive joke, get overly involved in, get overly involved in someone else's project, roughhouse and play around, or suddenly change their plans because something more interesting came up. Interesting. Okay, very interesting. Um, let's keep going. Okay, nothing is as boring as everyone agreeing with you. Virtuosos will come to learn that many other personality types have... Uh, have um, many other personality types have much more firmly drawn lines on rules and acceptable behavior than they do. They don't want to hear an insensitive joke and certainly wouldn't tell one back. And they wouldn't want to engage in horseplay even with a willing party. If a situation is already emotionally charged, violating these boundaries can backfire tremendously. Virtuosos Virtuosos have a particular difficulty in predicting emotions, but this is just a natural extension of the fairness, given how difficult it is to gauge virtuosos' emotions and motivations. However, their tendency to explore their relationships through their actions rather than through empathy can lead to some very frustrating situations. People with the virtuoso personality type struggle with boundaries and guidelines, preferring the freedom to move about and color outside the lines if they need to. Finding an environment where they can work with good friends who understand their style and unpredictability, combining their creativity, sense of humor, and hands-on approach to build practical solutions and things will give virtuosos many happy years of building useful boxes and admiring them from the outside. Okay, um, good stuff, good stuff. All right, not bad. Um, see which celebrities have the same one as you? Virtuosos you might know. Okay, okay, I'm in good company, you guys. I'm in very good company. I'll make this a little bit smaller so you guys can see it. I'm, I'm in very good company, actually. This is very good. Um, let's see. There we go. That's th- that's good. Like, I mean, that's very good because two of those people I'm, I'm big fans of. Um, I mean, like, I'm a huge fan of Bear Grylls. Like, I love nature and the outdoors. And, like, this is awesome. This is awesome. I, I love being compared to him. And, hey, if I'm going to be compared to Michael Jordan, what more can you ask for in life? I mean, he's the GOAT. So there's more to the right. Okay, let's see. Who else? Mila Jovovich, okay. Daniel Craig, James Bond himself, okay. Tom Cruise, okay. The King of Scientology, Michelle Rodriguez, okay. Um, Arya Stark, okay. Michael Weston, okay. Indiana Jones, Hawkeye, okay. Oh, by the way, I like how why it says why. I like why it says why. <laughs> it says why. <laughs> That's really good. It's yeah. It's gonna show Hikaru Nakamura. That's gonna say why. Yeah. 